in this video we are going to discuss about fault equivalence so what is fault equivalence fault equivalence is of the two fault f1 and f2 are equivalent if all the tests that deducts f1 also deduct f2 right if the faults f1 and f2 are equal and then the corresponding faulty function is also identical so let us see on um, what is a fault equivalence for the and gate okay so let me name it as a b c uh, a b is your input and c is your output so for a b c the input inputs are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 since it is a AND gate, uh, what is the logic uh, behind us? Uh, if all the inputs are 1, output is 1. Okay. So, this is your good output. Okay. What happens if A is stuck at 0, B is stuck at 0, C is stuck at 0, and A is stuck at 1, B gets stuck at 1, and C gets stuck at 1. So, if A is stuck at 0, and uh, if I am giving 0, uh, the fault will not propagate right because uh, uh, 0 is your faulty output and if I give 0 means here this be, uh, this output becomes 0 ok uh, the output uh, uh, good output will not propagate ok so therefore I have given it as x ok if a is stuck at 0 and the test vector is also 0 you have to give x ok likewise if b is stuck at 0 and uh, if i am giving the input also 0 means you have to give x c is stuck at 0 and input also output is 0 so x is so you have to give x ok likewise if we see b is 1 and you are giving b value is 1 and a is 1 so you are giving uh, input as 1 like C is 1, you are giving input as 1, so this will not correct, this is not correct. Next, uh, um, consider for this one, if A is stuck at 1, A is stuck at 1 and you are giving input as 0, A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0, this is a case, output will not, uh, will not be 0 of 1, it will, it is 0 right because if I multiply this one I will get only 0 not uh, 0 of 1 so the, uh, the fault is not propagating to the output so therefore I am giving um, uh, a of 1 is x ok similar way um, b of 1 is equal to 0 so this is correct why? Next, uh, 1 of 0 and uh, you are giving uh, input, any one input is 0 means uh, it will not propagate, right? And uh, C0, this will not work out. Okay. Next, 1 of 0 and 1. So, this will propagate, right? can see um, 0 of 1 uh, this is right ok next um, this 3 will be ok because you can see um, for this one ok uh, a is stuck at 0 a is stuck at 0 you are giving input as 1 and for in b also you are giving input as 1 so you will get 1 of 0 so the fault is propagating so a of 0 is uh, you have to give a tick mark ok so next um, so if you see um, uh, for the and gate for the and gate this is your equivalence this is your equals ok uh, this is your equals so what is equals uh, 
if A is stuck at 0 and B is stuck at 0, output also stuck at 0. Okay, so this is the equivalence for the AND gate. Okay. So similarly, you can um, draw it for the, if you draw it for OR gate. Okay, if you draw it for OR gate. This is 1, 1 means, this is the equivalence for R gate. Okay. So, for this, uh, you draw this, uh, this table and you can identify. So, similarly for NOT gate. Okay. For stuck at 0, equivalence is stuck at 1. For stuck at 1, equivalence is stuck at 0. Okay. So, similarly for nor gate if it is stuck at 1 1 answer is 0 okay for not gate an and gate if it is 0 0 means equivalence is 1 okay so similarly for branch okay so if it is stuck at 0 means this is also stuck at 0 and this is also stuck at 0 for 1 if it is stuck at 1 means this is also stuck at 1 this is also stuck at 1 this is the equals so thank you very much for watching this video